Today on the channel, they are finally here. We got Zayma, we got Tomax from the G.I. Joe Classified series. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got something special. We got the Crimson Twins, we've got Zaymont and Tomax for the G.I. Joe Classified line. But remember, for all your G.I. Joe Classified needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use the link in the description below to save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, anything over $39 does ship free so today the classified series grows even larger with the most powerful twins in the gi joe universe and two figures that i was um, very much anticipating very hopeful for in the classified series and today is the day they are finally here zamot and tomax of course uh long time joe collectors remember the old school three and three force two pack i distinctly remember getting that as a little kid the thing that i think the classified series and hasbro missed out on this is this should be a two-pack. I don't know if it should have been a fan channel two-pack or what, but it should have been a two-pack. You shouldn't have these guys separate. Uh, they should come together much like the old school one. Uh, you know, we get packs with uh, Timber and Snake Eyes. Have it something along those lines because that makes all the sense in the world to keep these guys together how they used to be. And they are, for the most part, and we'll go into the differences, are the exact same figure with a different head and a few little tweaks here and there. So not a ton of meat on the bone separately, but together, oh baby, we're kicking it off with some good Cobra goodness when you bring them together, as we know. Now, down the line, I wouldn't be shocked to see these guys get re-released on suited bodies, as we do know they were in suits a lot of the time in the cartoon and in the comic book and so forth. So I think that'd be a really easy one for them to do uh, farther down the line. Maybe that'll be the fan channel exclusive as a two-pack. Who knows? But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show both packages off, take it offline, get both these guys out of the package, and then we'll be back talking all things about these two. But let's kick it off here with number 44. I guess we'll go in order, and I believe that's Tomax. Yes, it is. And, of course, Tomax Zaymont. Uh, Zaymont is Tomax spelled backwards and, and vice versa, I guess. So we always remember that. Coolest thing about the twins, if you guys remember back to the cartoon series, if one got hit, the other one felt it. Always interesting to me. And I remember uh, when I first watched G.I. Joe and I saw that there was a kid, there was a pair of kids in my class that were twins. And I remember going up and asking them, say, hey, wait a minute, I was watching G.I. Joe. So if I hit you, uh, are you going to feel that? And uh, they looked at me like I had three heads. But I think it, physically or something, there is some twins out there that can kind of feel some of that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, even though I play one on the channel from time to time. But always love these guys here. But there it is. You got the G.I. Joe Classified logo, of course. A lot of the stuff we've seen. Uh, we got interesting artwork. And one thing I'm not a huge fan of with the G.I. Joe Classified line is all the different artwork. I wish it was a lot more uniform. I think that would go a lot better, uh, at least for what I want to see, is we get some far-out packaging designs on some of these, some anime style. It really is all over the place. I'd like a little bit more sleek, a little bit more uniformity. Maybe that's just me. Uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But we got uh, Zaymot here. No, it's Tomax, right? Yep, Tomax here. Tomax Paoli. Paoli? Paoli? I really don't remember them having a last name. I'm sure it came up in the comics. I definitely don't remember it in the cartoon. Uh, they're just always Zaymont and Tomax to me. Uh, but their last name's an interesting one. I believe they are of French descent. I could be correct on that, I hope. Uh, but there it is, the packaging there. Of course, number 44. You got all the stuff you can decode online if you are so inclined. And on the side right there, you got a little Cobra half insignia. You got half of the brothers there. And then uh, that's about it. No blurbs, nothing like that on the back. A lot of warnings. Some new uh, new mural back there. You got all of our favorites that we've received. And man, this Joe line is growing. I heard by the end of next year, 2020, uh, by the end of 2023, we're going to have over 100 figures in the line. So get your wallets ready. Get your wallets prepared for that. Uh, now let's look at my boy Zaymont. Very, very similar, obviously. Uh, same weapons, it looks like, between both packs here. Same kind of everything going on. He is number 45. That's the difference there. And then you get that mural on the side looking good. And one thing I really do like about this is uh, if you put the box art together, forms the tag team right there. There it is. Brothers in arms. The Cobra logo comes together. They're back to back. I think that does look really cool. So very cool packaging-wise, but how are they outside of the package? 
Let's take it offline. Let me get these guys out, and we'll be back talking all things Zaymont and Tomax. All right, we got Zaymont and Tomax out of the package. We're off to the races here. Going to throw these off to the side, give them the old see you later, goodbye, and see you later, goodbye. All right, Zaymont, Tomax. Of course, Zaymont has the scar in his face. That is the big difference between these two. That's how you try to remember them, if you can, if you can. And I believe, weren't they both French? I think I talked about that earlier, but they were also like acrobats or something because they were always doing the flip-flop and fly things uh, long before Rey Mysterio was up to those uh, shenanigans for sure but let's look at the accessories here and the accessories are going to be easy to do because they both have the exact same weapons i guess makes sense they are twins after all so let's look at these no extra hands with these guys we do get these nice kind of machine gun for lack of better terms you guys know my gun knowledge isn't really there but it's an all black weapon here good sculpting throughout uh, as I always say, a lot of silver detail stuff. You could really bring this bad boy home if you wanted to. Uh, but a very cool weapon. And once again, they both have the same weapon. Uh, you do get some effect pieces for this. As I throw it around a little bit, you do get a silencer that just plugs right in on the end. Of course, we've seen things like that before. You get a silencer. It looks like we got a little clip here too. A, a magazine maybe, a magazine. So you can put that clip in there and you're off to the races. So you can build that weapon however you want. Choose your own weapon adventure how you want it to be. And then we get two knives, two identical knives, two identical knives over here. And these knives are very interesting. They got uh, kind of a wave to them. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. Uh, but, you know, knives are knives. There's always been crazy knives throughout the years. Uh, but you can store both these knives on the character. I always love that as well. Uh, you got the nice silver blade, the nice wave to it. And then you got the black handle down below. And you're off to the races with some knives. So there it is. That's the accessory. It's going to be the exact same for both figures. And then we get Zaymont. We get Tomax here. Put them together, and of course, the big difference is, like I said, the face on these guys. Of course, they are twins, but they do have the hair. And you can see the hair is parted on one side for one, one on the other. And let's just, I guess, point out the differences right now. And of course, uh, Zaymont here has got the big scar down his face. Always liked that. Uh, and then you got their sash that goes around. They are on opposite sides, depending on the brother. One shoulder pad, same thing on opposite sides. Uh, they got their wrist gauntlets. You got a silver one and a black one. They are on opposite sides, really creating the differences there. You get the knife holder on the side of the belt on different sides once again. And then uh, besides that, it looks like the legs and everything are the same. No, let me see here. Nope. Okay, there's one other difference down here on the boots. You get the knife holder on opposite sides, uh, just like a lot of the other stuff there. And that really seems to bring it home. Very, very clean looking figures. Uh, and some of that stuff, it, you've, you have to really kind of look for it to see the opposites on it. you got to really see the opposites between the two brothers. And you definitely got to put them, uh, when you're standing them together, you got to put them this way. Because it looks weird if you have it this way. And maybe that's just me, I don't know. But uh, besides that, that's the only difference is both amazing looking figures. Both look really good. Good skin tone on these guys. I really like what they did here. I think this is the perfect modern representation of these guys in the classified line. I don't know if you could have asked for much more here. At least off the top of my head, I can't think of stuff. Like I said, I do think we'll get another run back of these guys in the future, and I think we'll get them in some suits. And a lot of you guys could probably customize some suits fairly easily. Uh, man, not wrestling, probably. Probably a Marvel legend like an Everett Ross or one of those suited figures. You could probably pop some heads off, be off to the races with one of those if you need to. But let's walk through these guys. Uh, we'll walk through the articulation really quick here. Uh, they're going to be the same for both these guys, as we said. You get the arms all the way around, of course. You get the bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. Very tight here for that all day. Hands back and forth. Uh, not really so much side to side, but back and forth. Head, of course, side to side. A little bit of limitations with his shoulder gauntlet right there. Uh, but you get the back and forth there. You do get the big old ab crunch. You can even hear it. Nice loud ab crunch there. A little bit of waist, not terribly uh, movemental in the waist. And of course, you can do those big old acrobat splits that we know these guys do. And then you get the drop down hips on them as well, which you guys know my feelings on those. You do get the thigh cut, double jointed pinless knees. How about that? Boot cut as well. And then you get the ankle rocker side to side, back and forth, up and down. Looking really, really good. And like I talked about, we talked about all the different places to store the weapons here. You get the side of the boot for a knife. Always love that knife on the boot. You fling it like that. Uh, we see that a lot with some of these guys, a lot of the ninjas and things. Store the other knife on his side holster there. And then, of course, the weapon he's going to carry. No backpack, anything like that. 
Gosh, I'm trying to think back to the original one. These guns are similar but different. I remember they had kind of a longer gun. It was like a pistol, but a little longer, I believe. And didn't they have some kind of a rope of some kind? Like they could, you know, be sliding down like a trap jaw or something. I, I vaguely remember a rope type thing with them. Uh, but no backpacks here. That's it. That's all we get for the weapons. Uh, very, very cool to get these guys. Well, let's check see. Do they fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% on the stands, of course looking really good he fits perfectly there the colors on this are really great i love the blue and the red very very classic inspired i love the turnaround the joe brand did here on the classified instead of trying to update and reinvent the wheel they said let's go classic let's go classic and that's what we got with these guys just beautiful bright reds bright blues just all day long if you know your gi joe you know who these two guys are you know what they're up to uh you know they got a briefcase of money hiding somewhere they're up to no good uh, as they should be. They are the Crimson Twins and absolute favorites of mine. And I just so nostalgic is what this pack is because I just remember getting that two pack as a little kid. And they were really uh, one of the center, central parts of my G.I. Joe universe in my playing days way back when I was a kid. So very cool to get these very iconic uh, twins, possibly the most iconic twins of all time. Yes, I said it. I said it. Uh, right up there with Ozzy and Jose Canseco. I would say those are probably the most iconic twins of all time. I don't know. You think of other great twins out there and let me know. Uh, but what say you? What do you think about Zaymont and Tomax? All in, all out, playing the long game, picking them up? Let me know your thoughts on these two. I think most Joe fans are happy to have them in the line. This is uh, some of the major Cobra baddies that we've definitely needed in our collection. But let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some, as you guys know. Love to have you a part of it, so make sure you're subscribing. Don't forget about the Patreon. Once again, link in the description below. Early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, you name it. There's a lot going on with the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. And don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Crimson Twins, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.